A very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Thursday morning. Now, on Tuesday evening, the prestigious Naledi Awards honored the late theatre legend Dalip Peterson with a posthumous Lifetime Achievement Award for his memorable work, which triumphantly lives on after his untimely passing. And now, this morning, we chat with his daughters Fatima and Aisha, who received the award on his behalf about his wonderful legacy that we all continue to celebrate today. Ladies, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I've got to ask you what that moment was like when you were on stage receiving this award on behalf of your father's great legacy that he's left behind. Um, and, you know, what, what it means to you as a family and to the broader District 6 uh, community, Aisha? Yeah, okay, she, um, she went to receive the award in mm -hmm. Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. So um, she can answer that. Yeah, walking on stage and watching the audience one by one stand and clap for him, it, it's indescribable. Um, and it felt as though he was there. Yeah. Um, and it's an honour because my father dedicated his life um, to local District 6 and local people. Yeah. So it was really such an honour to stand there and, and watch people applaud and in, in his absence stand there in awe of this man. Yeah. And here I am just thinking he's, he's daddy. He's just... Yeah, he's just daddy. Go into that a little bit. You know, if you were to share with someone your relation with him as a father, what was he like as, as daddy? Oh, he was amazing. Someone that's easy to talk to. Mm. He, the best advice giver. But also, you don't, you don't want to challenge him on certain things. So he's, he's very just, much a father like that, yeah. you know? <laughs> My <laughs> word is law. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh. No, no, and it's a new level of law. Hey? It's a new level of yeah. law. It's like Tali Peterson's law. It's law that no one knows besides the kids. It's <laughs> our law. Peterson law. Was well, it at least written somewhere for you to read? And no, you, you, have to learn you, you, yeah. you have to learn quick. You said it once and it's done. That's it. You're not questioning it. It's just, I'm saying this and I'm walking away and you must just remember. And it's not like you were troublesome kids or anything like that that... No. no, we were too scared to be. No. <laughs> we were too scared to be. That seems like a perfect cover up for the sisters over there. But then, of course, uh, on the evening as well, you had, uh, of course, the great David Kramer also coming on and speaking about mm. his relationship with him, working with him. And, uh, you know, the fact that we had so many great productions like Cat and the Kings, yeah. uh, we've yeah. had uh, District 6, the musical, that all continue to celebrate his legacy. What has it been like for you as a family to see over all these years, you know, his legacy being celebrated in such a beautiful way? Oh, it's just. A feeling of being immensely proud that 10 years later and you walk in the street and people are still speaking so proud about this remarkable man. Mm. It just makes your, your heart pump custard. It, it's the best feeling ever, yeah. seriously. What is it that you hope that uh, his legacy will continue to maybe perhaps teach young kids, young artists coming from disadvantaged communities? And so it's a, a valid question to ask because our concern was that his legacy would be attached to the words like bru brutal um, and be related to his death. Mm, 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 um, yeah. And the message is that, that there stands out a lot in my father's music is be proud of Cape Town, be proud of where, where you come from. Mm -hmm. um, and in that, the music within you will speak for itself. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for being here with us this morning and sharing that with us. And we can't wait to hear Fatima sharing a, a lovely song, a rendition of one of your father's songs a little bit later on. And I, I, it's one that has a special memory for you. Right? Yes. Fantastic. Yes, it does. Well, stay tuned for that on your Feel Good Breakfast show. A beautiful rendition, as I said, by Fatima coming up a little bit later on. Right now, let's reflect on the morning's headlines and Graham is bringing them to you.